Does being a conservative white dude make you less than shrewd? A new really stupid report says so. <laughs> I bias. Yep, published uh, research in the latest issue of Global Environmental Change attempts to explain why people like me are less likely to believe in climate change. The study called Cool Dudes, the Denial of Climate Change Among Conservative White Males in the U.S. notes that historically white guys have had fewer obstacles in life and quote, Something that would challenge the status quo is something conservative white males want to shun. Conclusion, I like eggs. Conservative white males' motivation to ignore a certain risk, the risk of climate change in this case, therefore has to do with defending the status of their identity tied to the white male establishment. Wow, sorry about that, everybody. I should have killed this story. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I hate it when I find out it sucks. <laughs> I hope, uh, whatever. Just watch this video. <laughs> Best part about that segment, if you ask me. All right, John. Yes. Greg, here's the thing about male, this. This, conservative. this study <laughs> boils down to if you don't like X, it's because you're Y. And if you go Y, they go, it's because you're Y. Why? That's, the, that's the study. Why are you anti-math? <laughs> Why are you opposed to math? This study says something. Let me reframe I mean, you're, this. You're, I get where you're coming well. from. You're pro-man-made climate change. If I were pro man made I'm pro reason and science. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> if I were pro man made climate change, I'd still be insulted by this. Uh, sure, I get it. Right. You know, it's a, it's a research. I mean, look, here's what the study is. It is a, it's not about white conservative males. It is about jocks versus nerds. <laughs> Sometimes jocks win. Like in war, in this instance, I think nerds win. Science, uh, yes. It's an interesting metaphor. Jason, what do you make of the study? Uh, the, the title is awful. Cool dudes. It yeah. sounds like something my aunt Candy would come up with. What are you, what are you cool dudes up to this weekend? <laughs> you know what? I love your aunt. Yeah. She oh, is. Yeah. A, yeah. Whenever I come by, she's always. You're got... gonna hear from her on uh, Facebook. So. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, aunt Candy's single, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, like maybe the whole thing with uh, conservative males is that uh, maybe it's a subliminal thing where they, you know, every picture they've ever seen is with Jesus wearing sandals, and they want it to be nice and toasty when it gets back. Mm -hmm. Mm, there you go. That's an interesting point. Oh, Kaylee didn't like that answer. No. No. I mean, if, if white conservative males, if this is true, then they're the most logical faction of our society in my mm -hmm. mind because okay. I, we, we stand opposed because I think the science would not prove otherwise but certainly put questions in terms of climate change because if you look back in 1950, we thought an ice age was imminent. So certainly that never right. happened. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, the problem with the climate change is that uh, it seems to me that they shut down the argument that, uh, that completely that man doesn't influence his environment no, at no, all. No, no, no. You know who shut down the argument were who? the people that decided that it was 100% certain. There you go. And that, it, that, start, that happened yep. first. Now you got the skeptics and you got, an econo you got an economic recession where people don't want to hear about it anymore. That's the biggest challenge yeah. is people don't care. But I don't get a message about doubt in the science. I get a message that is almost completely anti-science. Yeah, because anti -science. the scientific community no. bullies you into thinking something. Uh, I Pro I'm not anti-science. If you've ever been in my basement. Anybody. You're, <laughs> anti that's, you're, you're pro-science experiments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but they and lead I would to nothing but pain <laughs> and, and screams and soundproof uh, walls, right? Greg. And magic. I am and magic. And magic. Although he is halfway to an actual human centipede. I will give him that. All right. Uh, I guess let me ask you this, Bill. Okay. you got to agree with me on this one. And I know because you, you disagree with me on, I, uh, on my feelings about man-made uh, global warming. I, uh, is that... Uh, they, they should warm periods before there was industrialization. We could argue about that. But the simple point here is if, if you want to get published, mm -hmm. the, e the easiest thing you can do is be pro-global warming because I, you can, cause this study is so bad, it proves that anything can be published if you're pro Man made yeah. global warming. I would take the opposite route and say that that is so flooded with people doing just that that if you take the opposite route, you'll possibly get a story you on mean, Red Eye. You mean there's a shorter line? <laughs> exactly. The shorter line theory. <laughs> yes. I, the shorter line theory works unless the people doing the, uh, uh, the approval disagrees with you. Like, you know, like a shorter line theory is, you know, you're looking for, I don't know, what would be a, what would be a good example of a shorter line theory? Um, a talking dog. There's no talking dog, so he would be the first. If you're a talking dog, you would be the first in line. And you know what right. caused that? Global warming. Yeah, you're yes. right again. All right. But see, 
Anyway, why am I talking about this anymore? <laughs> it was a stupid topic. Great story. I like the dogs, the puppies, and the cat. I like Me that too. too. All right, do you have a comment on the show? Email us. It's red eye at foxnews.com. And to leave a voicemail on my direct line, 212 462 5050. Still to come, the halftime report from Jesse Joyce. He is delightful. Tonight's halftime report is sponsored by Beaches, the shores of a large body of water covered by sand, gravel, or other larger rock fragments. Thanks, Beaches. Thank you.